got. think it's possible that this was binding up at all? Jeez, hurry. This is just trash. <laughs> Impacts and swivels go a long way. These suckers are in there and they're a little bit tight, I gotta say. Whew little unusual but this one pretty much just fell out this is how it ended up when i took the last bolt out so <sighs> that's handy i don't have to pound it out uh, i'm gonna just take a little wire brush clean everything out in here I might spray it with a little brake cleaner but i want to make sure the surface is totally clean when we put the new one in no easy nice and cleaned up here's just a little comparison guys so 350Z wheel hub and bearing, 370Z should ride nice and quiet now. All right, new hub is in, looks good, silent, gotta love that. Uh, cleaned up the subframe a little bit and now we're about ready to put the new CV axle in. If you recall, one side is longer than the other and you may have to swap them. So 370Z and 350Z essentially, from what I hear, are opposite. So driver side goes on passenger side, passenger side goes on driver side. But easy thing to do is just compare the lengths. So this is actually a shorter, it's a little bit short compared to the other one. The one thing I do have to do though is run to the store and grab some new hardware uh, because you can see the mounting flange on the new 370Z axle is quite a bit thicker and this one maybe maybe an eighth of an inch thicker so we need a little bit longer bolt so i'm going to take a bolt with me to the store and we'll get 12 brand new ones there you can see the difference we got the passenger side out passenger side driver side all right we got new hardware i want to say these are an inch and a quarter New hardware looks mighty fine. I'm going to reuse the factory uh, axle nut. Because the castle nut that came with the new axle shafts is bigger than 32. And I don't have a big enough socket. But this one fits just fine, so... Please check factory's torque specifications. There we go. I think we're secure.
Well, guys, that concludes the 350Z rear axle upgrade to the 370Z axles. Oh, hopefully this makes a big difference. It really, really should. Not too bad of a job. Uh, really helpful to have a, an impact drill for sure. Um, you may or may not need to go get some new hardware to replace the uh, flange bolts. Uh, let's see what else. Um, wheel hub and bearing too. Pretty simple job. Might as well do them all at the same time if you're changing out the axles. You're going to have to do the 370Z uh, rear hub and bearing as well. Uh, so again, not too big of a deal. Um, that's about it. That's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I definitely got to get this thing out on the road now and drive it, but uh, I'm pumped. Thank you guys very much for watching. Huh? This is a, another good project to get out of the way. I appreciate the continued support. Any questions or concerns or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. See you in the next one.